Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today, we're looking at why Amish men wear beards, but not mustaches. This tradition stems back to the early days of the Amish, when wearing elaborate moustaches was common among those in the military. In fact, this became so popular that from 1860 to 1916, British soldiers were actually required to have moustaches. The Amish, being a pacifist group, not just in war but also in all confrontation, which is why they prefer the term non-resistance to pacifism, didn't want to associate themselves with those who waged war, so they strictly forbade their members from growing moustaches. Today, few men in the Western world choose to grow moustaches, but this tradition remains among the Old Order Amish people, which number about 200,000 in North America. While moustaches are not allowed, beards are practically a requirement among the Amish due to beards being common among men in the Bible. However, not all Amish men are traditionally allowed to grow beards. It isn't until an Amish man gets married that he will stop shaving his beard and allow it to grow out, with beards being a mark of an Amish male having become a man. And now for a bonus fact. The specific British military command requiring soldiers to have a moustache was Command No. 1695 of the King's Regulations. It read, The hair of the head will be kept short, the chin and under the lip will be shaved, but not the upper lip. Initially adopted at the tail end of the 1700s from the French, who also required their soldiers to have facial hair which varied depending on the type of soldier, sappers, infantry, etc., this follicular fashion statement was all about virility and aggression. Beard and moustache growth was rampant, especially in India, where bare faces were scorned as being juvenile and unmanly, as well as in Arab countries where moustaches and beards were likewise associated with power. It wasn't all plain sailing for the moustache, though. Back home, British citizens were looking on it as a sign of their boys going native, and it was nearly stamped out completely. However, in 1584, after significant campaigning, moustaches became compulsory for the troops of the East India Company's Bombay Army. While not in the rules for everyone else yet, they were still widely taken up across the armed forces, and during the Crimean War, there were a wide variety of permissible and often over-the-top styles. By the 1860s, moustaches were finally compulsory for all armed forces, and they became as much an emblem for the armed forces as the army uniform. In 1916, the regulation was dropped, and troops were allowed to be clean-shaven again. This is largely because such a superficial requirement was getting ignored in the trenches of World War I, especially as facial hair could sometimes get in the way of a good gas mask seal. The order to abolish the moustache requirement was signed on October 6, 1916, by General Sir Neville Macready, who himself hated moustaches and was clad to finally shave his off. While no longer in force today, there are still regulations governing moustaches, and if worn, they can grow no further than the upper lip. It is also still extremely common for British soldiers in Afghanistan to wear beards, as facial hair is still associated with power and authority in many Islamic regions. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that like button below, and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, over there on the right, a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.